Hey guys, Sarah from Sarah Smith Strength here today and I want to talk to you about the number one key component that I see missing from pelvic floor rehab protocols and that is, can you guess? I'm not going to say breathing. Breathing is a really important part but I'm not going to say breathing because I believe breathing is falls under the umbrella of what I am going to talk about. Anybody? Anybody guess? Okay, it is movement. So many people are going to a doctor or to a pelvic floor PT, they're getting great support on the clinical side, but then they don't know what to do when they get back in the gym. And they don't even know that movement, everything from breathing, which is movement, if you've taken my course, you understand that there's a lot of movement involved in breathing, okay? It's how we train our core. So yeah, it's movement, yeah, it's exercise. And the beauty of it is we do it all day long every day. So if we optimize it, we do it really, really well, we're gonna be moving and promoting functionality of the core and the pelvic floor, okay? So movement from breathing all the way to your preferred form of exercise. So whether that's HIIT, CrossFit, Pilates, jogging, spinning, kettlebells, strength training, you know, whatever it is. We can use movement. In fact, we need to use movement to train the pelvic floor. Pelvic floor does not work in isolation. Laying down and doing a bunch of kegels can be appropriate to a certain extent for certain people. But at the end of the day, the pelvic floor is a group of muscles, a hammock, right? That needs to respond automatically to the information that is coming in coming in from you know, your environment. Things you see, things you hear, things you feel, things you sense, right? We need to automate its response. We're not gonna automate its response by laying on the bed kegling or sitting in traffic kegling, wherever you prefer to do your kegels, okay? And we're definitely not going to improve the function of the pelvic floor by kegling if we have an over-recruited pelvic floor. In fact, that's the worst thing that we can do. So the thing that's really, really important that everybody really needs to know is that Movement is your way forward. It's how you move forward. It's how you conquer your pelvic floor issues, really. You can't get away with it. You can't get around it, okay? And again, movement is scalable. There's lots of different kinds of movement, lots of different ways we can use it. So I'm not saying you have to, you know, go full bore, run back into exercise. I'm not talking about like deadlifting 250 pounds tomorrow. But I am talking about learning the movement mechanics that you need to reach your goals, confidently return to movement, and optimize your pelvic floor because bodies are designed to move, okay? Movement is a biological imperative. That means we need to do it. There's torsion, there's communication, there's you know movement of cells and fascia, nerves going up and down all the different highways, muscles talking to each other, our lymph gets pumped through the body with movement, the health of our gut microbiome relies upon movement. We need to be moving. So I hate, I hate when women that have prolapse or have pelvic floor dysfunction or maybe just an under-recruited pelvic floor and they can't really control their bladder, I hate when they're afraid of moving. I hate when they're just doing the clinical therapies, waiting, waiting for the day when they feel ready. No, you need to move now. Yes, you need to learn how to move. You need guidance, you need education so you can understand how to do it. Both scale it to where you are right now, both fitness-wise and pelvic floor responsiveness, but also, um, you know, not be afraid of it. So, so yeah, so movement is key. And if we're not learning how to move, if we're not learning how to take whatever it is that we are learning in the clinical setting from medical professionals and how to apply it in the gym, how to apply it when we're gonna like bend down and pick our kids up or move laundry or carrying groceries, or if our office chair at work is bothering us and giving us tailbone pain and we, we don't really know because we don't understand the mechanics of the pelvic floor to put two and two together and be like, hmm, this is contributing to my pelvic floor over recruitment and my discomfort. If we don't know these things, then we are leaving healing on the table. We are. We're not progressing as well as we can. We're not gonna be empowered. We're not gonna feel empowered. We're not gonna feel confident in the body. And quite frankly, without movement, without exercise, we're only, we're only gonna get so far. We're only gonna get so much better, okay? So movement is key and it's missing. A lot of people don't know how to translate what they're doing in therapy, what their doctor told them, what they heard from their surgeon, if they've had some kind of surgery for you know, diastasis or um, pelvic floor or prolapse repair, they don't know how to take that information and relay it to, relate it to movement, either inside the gym or just normal daily life, okay? So that, that is why I created my program. 
connect your core and pelvic floor. And here, if you are one of my students, meaning you took my Breathe Like a Badass Better Than Kegels course, then you know right now in your inbox, you have a $50 off coupon. That takes a $149 course and makes it $90, bucks, $99, 50 bucks off, okay? The sale is only until tomorrow. So if you don't know how to use movement to heal your pelvic floor, heal your core, and if you don't feel confident and capable in your body because of your pelvic floor issues, you need this course. Connect your core and pelvic floor, okay? Link in my bio to learn about it, but you're gonna wanna use the coupon. So check your inbox. If you don't have the coupon, you can DM me here and we'll talk about it. Or I might just hook you up, right? So, so yeah, it's gonna be great. I created it when my kids were two, five, and seven. It is designed for busy women. It's not mom specific, but it is definitely catered towards busy moms, okay? It is for you whether you have over recruitment of the pelvic floor, under recruitment, or prolapse, because I had all of them. So I feel like talking about all the things. I'm like, you can't, no one's pelvic floor issues fit in a box. Everyone has variable, various things going on, right? There's a lot of variables, so sorry, my eyes itchy. Um, <laughs> and so I feel like a program that's really gonna help women move forward in a sustainable way has to address really over recruitment, under recruitment, and prolapse, because quite frankly, optimal pelvic floor function requires that we understand all of those things because getting the pelvic floor to do its job means moving away from any of those issues right whether no matter what extreme you are at our goal is to get back to optimal automatic reflexive function of the pelvic floor so we talk about all the things so yes depending on what your pelvic floor issues if you're concerned you're like is this for me you can message me here and i'll let you know but if you have any of those issues it's for you and I have clients in there, students that are in their 20s and students that are in their 60s and their 70s. So if you're dealing with it because you're in menopause now or you just had a baby or you're pregnant or you've never been pregnant, this course is gonna cover things. It's very pelvic floor and core specific, but other than that, it appeals to a very broad audience, okay? I'm gonna teach you how to move and train and be strong again in a manner that feels good for you. And it's totally self-paced. So you're never gonna feel like you're failing because there's always structure there and things for you to work and to commit to, but you can do it at your own pace. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. DM me, Sarah Smith Strength, and don't forget the coupon.